Bonjour tout le monde, bonjour. J'espère que vous allez bien ce matin. Bonjour, bienvenue. Bienvenue au cours de français communautaire. Je m'appelle Monsieur Léo et je suis votre prof de français ce matin. Bonjour, hello everybody. My name is Monsieur Léo ou prof Léo. It doesn't matter to me. Um, I am your French teacher this morning. Uh, welcome and um, today's lesson is going to be great. Um, so if you can see from the title, we're doing Community French Une Lecture avec uh, Julie et Marie. So we finally finished uh, book book one. Now we're on book number two. Book numéro deux. A livre numéro deux. Um, and it's exciting, you know, because we're going to be doing new activities, new worksheets, uh, new, uh, new um, lessons and new lectures that are more, um, I don't, I like more advanced, like more higher up. So it's really exciting, you know, it's really, it's going to be um, new lessons, which, which is always refreshing to see, you know, um, new ideas and new, new stuff like that. So, bon, I'm very excited to be working with you guys again throughout this new book. So, great. So, now before we start, I'm going to ask you my two questions that I always ask you each time we meet. Here it is. Quelle est la date aujourd'hui? And then the other question is, I'll show it just so you can think about it. And then we'll come back to it. Quel temps fait-il? What is the weather today? So the first question. Quelle est la date aujourd'hui? Aujourd'hui means today. Quelle est la date is what is the date? Aujourd'hui, today. And then the way we respond is by this. Aujourd'hui, it's like a little form. We have like a little formula. We say aujourd'hui, today, plus uh, c'est. C'est means it is, or that it, 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 it means it is. And then you say the day. Mardi, aujourd'hui. I put mardi, aujourd'hui, because those are the days I teach. Um, but feel free to um, input any day you'd like if you want practice at home, because it um, it, it doesn't it doesn't um, change. So what we do is we say aujourd'hui c'est jeudi because today's Thursday, jeudi le 19 novembre 2020. Aujourd'hui c'est jeudi. So we have aujourd'hui c'est jeudi le 19 novembre 2020. Très bien tout le monde. Et l'autre question c'est ça. Quel temps fait-il? Quel temps fait-il? The way, we respond, the way we respond is like this. Il fait da da da. And you say however you want to say it. Il fait gris. Il fait chaud. Il fait froid. Il fait humide. Il fait soleil. Il pleut. Il y a du brouillard et neige. Donc, aujourd'hui, bon, je pense qu'il fait, I think that it is, uh, il fait froid. Il fait froid aujourd'hui, je pense. Hier, yeah. il, il, il faisait très, très, très froid. Oh! Mon Dieu, um, ouais. Et je pense, I don't know. I think it's going to snow this week. I'm not sure. I don't want to say the snow word. Who likes the snow word? But <laughs> uh, wait. So bon, aujourd'hui il fait gris un peu. Il fait froid. Il n'y a pas de soleil. Il, 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 uh, il fait pas humide. Très bien. Bon. No. We're going to be doing une lecture. So the first thing we're going to do, the first step, le, la première étape est de lire ensemble, is to read it together. Bon. I'll have my face right here so you can see me go back and forth. Uh, bon. Voilà. Make sure you can see it. Okay. Cool. Bon. Okay. Bon. Très bien. Lecture. This is where we're starting today. Lecture. And then these are the two people we'll be learning about, Marie et Julie. That, that's why I put the name in the title, so you can have somewhat of a reference point. So, bon. Marie. And the goal of these, um, if you're at home or something, feel free to pick a friend or something. Even if that person doesn't speak French. You know, just go through it slow. Take your time and just have fun with it. You know, because it's two people. You could even go off. You can even... Pick a few people and pass around the iPad or something, whatever you want to say, and then just um, do the lecture like that. 
And then um, a good reference is, it's a website called Word Reference. I'm not a big fan of Google Translate. I tell my students at, uh, at Rolla never to use Google Translate because it doesn't translate, for, especially for a language like French. Um, sometimes the grammatical structures change. Uh, it's not like English at times. So um, it's important to, uh, and, and Google Translate doesn't understand that at times. So that's why I like this website called Word Reference. I will make a um, little banner to show you their website. It's a very great, it's a great website. Um, and um, it gives you the part of speech, how to use it in a sentence, and so forth. So it's a great resource out there for language learners. And they have tons of languages too, so that's great. So bon, let's get started. Lecture. Marie, qu'est-ce que tu fais durant les vacances? Julie, ma famille et moi, nous ne partons pas en vacances. Mon frère fait du sport tout l'été. Il joue au tennis et au football. Mes parents font une promenade chaque matin. Moi, je fais du piano. Marie, est-ce que tu préfères l'été ou l'hiver? Je préfère l'été. Il fait chaud. Il fait beau. Je n'aime pas la pluie. Mais il faut faire attention au soleil en été, car trop de soleil est dangereux pour le peau. Il faut se protéger. Et toi, Marie? Pardon. Moi, je préfère quand il fait froid. Je n'aime pas le soleil ni la chaleur. Ni la chaleur. Euh, J'aime aller au spa d'hiver pour faire du ski. Je vais au ski avec mes, mes amis. Ils sont très sociables et sympathiques. Julie. Pendant l'été, il ne faut pas faire les devoirs ni étudier. C'est super. Mais après l'été, il faut retourner à l'école. Et je n'aime pas l'école. <rire> Moi non plus. Je n'aime pas l'école. Parfois, je fais semblant de faire mes devoirs. Mais en réalité, je ne fais pas mes devoirs. Mon cours préféré est la géographie avec Madame Magnet. <rire> C'est un très bon professeur. Elle nous parle de l'Afrique, de l'Asie, des États-Unis. Je veux découvrir le monde. Et toi, quel est ton cours préféré? Julie. Je veux ouvrir une boulangerie. Donc, mon cours préféré est le cours de mathématiques. C'est très difficile, les mathématiques. Moi, je suis très douée. Je ne suis pas paresseuse. Je travaille beaucoup pour avoir des belles notes. Très bien. Okay. Now, there are a bunch of new adjectives in this, in this um, lecture that we will break apart. So, we'll break apart each sentence. The first one we have is Marie. She says... Qu'est-ce que tu fais durant les vacances? So, qu'est-ce que? We know qu'est-ce que. That's the one way to form a question in French. We have, we have est-ce que. But when you put qu, that means more specific. So, you say qu'est-ce que. Tu fais. Tu is our subject in the sentence. Tu is our subject pronoun. Tu means you. It means informal you or just like to a friend. Tu fais. Fais is uh, the conjugation for faire, which is to do or to make. So basically, durant is a look, is a word, a, a word of time showing a during. Les vacances, the vacation. So basically, this sentence means, what do you do during the vacation? Julie says, ma famille et moi, nous ne partons pas en vacances. So what do you think that means? Well, first we have ma famille, my family, et moi. Moi is a stress pronoun meaning me. Nous ne partons pas. Remember the ne pas around the conjugated verb? Even if you didn't know what this parton means, what does that mean when you have the ne pas around the conjugated verb? That means that it's a negative. Very good. It's a negative sentence. <clears throat> so we have, ma famille et moi, nous ne partons pas en vacances. So we, so we have nous, which means we, do not 
leave on vacation, for vacation. Partir. Partir is the infinitive of this verb. Partir. Let me make a note. Partir. The infinitive is the most simplest form of the verb. It's the I-R, aria, E-R. That's just like saying um, he, she speaks. I, uh, the, the, the infinitive is to speak. That's the equivalent. Or, or um, he, she leaves. Uh, to leave. That's the infinitive. And then it's always en vacances. It's not, um, it's not um, on vacation. Like uh, sur vacances. You don't say that. It's always en vacances. Très bien. Mon frère fait du sport tout l'été. My brother does, that's how it translates to English, some sports um, all summer. L'été is summer. Tout is a uh, way to show um, significance, so it's all. Il joue au tennis et au football. He plays tennis and football. This isn't football like we know. This is football uh, like uh, soccer. Um, if it was American football, it's say football américain. Mes parents font une promenade chaque matin. My parents do une promenade is a um, like a walk every morning. Chaque er, er, uh, each morning. Moi je fais du piano. Me I do I play I do the piano basically. I play the, I do the piano. Marie, est-ce que tu préfères l'été ou l'hiver? Do you prefer summer or winter? L'hiver is winter, l'été is summer. Je préfère l'été. I prefer the summer. Il fait chaud. This is just like what I teach you in the morning, how I talk about the, 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 the temperature. Il fait chaud. Il fait beau. Je n'aime pas la pluie. I don't like the rain. Mais il fait... Oh, no. Excuse me. Oh, oh Dieu. Dés je suis très désolé. Euh, je suis tellement fatigué. <laughs> Mais il faut faire attention au soleil en été. Car trop de soleil est dangereux pour la peau. Ok. Mais il faut... This is turning into this... This is a form that we use in the subjunctive, but this sentence is not in the subjunctive. Mais il faut... But it's necessary to pay attention to the sun in summer. Because a lot... Uh, too much sun is dangerous for the skin. Pour is skin. Il faut se protéger. It's necessary to protect yourself. Et toi? Marie. Moi, je préfère quand il fait froid. Je n'aime pas le soleil ni la chaleur. Me. I prefer when it is cold. I don't like the sun or the warmth. J'aime aller au sport d'hiver pour faire du ski. I like going to do, to do winter sports uh, to go skiing, basically. Je vais au ski avec mes amis. I go skiing um, with my friends. Ils sont très sociables et sympathiques. They are very sociable and nice. Pendant l'été, during uh, the summer, il ne faut pas faire, excusez-moi, il ne faut pas faire les devoirs ni étudier. During the summer, it is, it is not necessary to do homework or study. When you have the ni between devoir et étudier, that's to show that it's, it means either or. Um, C'est super, mais après l'été, il faut retourner à l'école. Et je n'aime pas l'école. But after the summer, it's necessary, it's necessary to return. Retourner is to return. This is in the infinitive. The way we know is we have er at the end. If it wasn't, it'd just be conjugated. À l'école, to school. Et je n'aime pas l'école, and I don't like school. What's wrong with this? Moi non plus, je n'aime pas l'école. Parfois, je fais semblant de faire mes devoirs, mais en réalité, je ne fais pas mes devoirs. Me as well, I don't like school. We're going to translate now. Parfois, je fais semblant de faire mes devoirs. Sometimes... I pretend, faire, faire semblant, when you combine faire et semblant, that means to, pre that means to, uh, to pretend. You don't say je prétends, that doesn't make sense. You say je fais semblant. De faire, 
mes devoirs, to do my homework. Mais en réalité, but in reality, je ne fais pas mes devoirs, but in reality, I don't do my homework. Mon cours préféré est la géographie avec Madame Magnet. Uh, my favorite course is, uh, my favorite class, my preferred class basically, is geography avec, with Madame Magnet, with Madame Magnet. That means like a real magnet in French. Uh, C'est un très bon professeur. It's a very, uh, she's a very good professor. There's a whole thing in France now, they're trying to change. Professeur is always masculine, but they're trying to change it to be feminine. Uh, to, to, so there's equality. That's the one, that's funny. It's the one word that doesn't change for some reason. Like they're trying, but I used to always say, Madame la professeuse, and they would always be like, non, c'est professeur. But I'd be like, no, 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 vous êtes une femme. I said, you're a woman, so it's professeuse. You know. <laughs> Elle nous parle de l'Afrique. She talks to us, she speaks to us about Africa, de l'Asie, Asia, et des États-Unis, the United States. Je veux découvrir le monde. I want to discover the world. Et toi, and you, quel est ton cours préféré? And you, what is your favorite course? Julie says, je veux ouvrir une boulangerie. I want to open a bakery. Donc, mon cours préféré est le cours de mathématiques. So, my preferred course is mathematics. C'est dif très difficile, les mathématiques. Uh, it's very difficult. Mathematics is very difficult. Mais je suis très doué. But I'm very devoted. Je ne suis pas paresseuse. I'm not very um, uh, stressed. Uh, je, tra I work, je travaille beaucoup pour avoir des belles notes. I work a lot to have good notes. Bon, c'est tout. This was, you're going to notice that these lectures are a little longer than what we're used to um, in the other book. They're a little more, they have a little more sentence structures, a little more important things that we have to keep it, keep up with. But, um, très, très, très bien tout le monde. Très bien pour, uh, very good for your first lesson in this deuxième book, deuxième livre. Très bien. Now that's all I have lesson, that's all I have planned for today. Um, as you know, always, that the lesson, that the lesson I do, it always gets turned into a worksheet. So if you see this website at the bottom, rolalang.com, it uh, gets turned into a, a worksheet and it gets posted there. So please, please, please take a look there if you want to um, look for the worksheet for today's lesson. It'd be a great thing to do. Um, you could highlight some important grammar points that I discuss uh, in this video and it'd be great for practice as well. So bon. So c'est tout pour aujourd'hui. That's it for today. Um, J'espère que vous passerez un bon week-end. I hope that you will have a great weekend. Et je vous verrai ce... Uh, um, oh oui, le mardi prochain. Le mardi prochain. Au revoir tout le monde. I will see you next Monday. Ciao, ciao. Bon week-end.